I'm going to start with an empty page here in ClickFX Prime and from any of these empty buttons I can right click and select create graphic to open up the graphics editor. Uh, this editor is really meant to do some very simple CG editing. Uh, I can add scene layers and I can move them around. Um, I can do some data binding and what we're doing here is we're setting up a, um, a very simple uh, football scoreboard. Uh, we're lining up some images we're going to add some text for the score elements and the clock um, and the down and distance. And uh, what this will show you is that what we're doing here uh, will automatically be saved to a file that we will highlight, highlight in a little bit. And the importance of that is that any, any editing that we do here is completely uh, compatible with Prime. And we can actually use Prime to add uh, things to our scene that we can then play back in ClickFX Prime. Uh, why is this important? Because as you can tell on the left hand side of this editor, uh, what you can do with this editor is very limited. We don't have very many elements that we can add and that's fine. That's really, it's meant for a certain audience. But if we have an audience that would like to explore more in terms of CG, uh, we can take any item that's been created in ClickFX Prime, open it up in Prime and expand it with additional um, elements. So as you can tell here, we're highlighting the Prime project. This uh, editor automatically works with the project that, uh, the projects that are available in Prime. And the scene file, um, as soon as we hit save, we will actually set that. And this scene will be saved as a PBX file for Prime and will be injected into that project, that test underscore one project here. So we're naming the file, we're hitting save, and we're closing the editor. Um, but before we do so, we're also taking note of the PBX file location and again the, the project that we have saved it in. So before we go back, uh, go over to Prime, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you that uh, we can play this back in um, ClickFX Prime and it's just a very simple fade in that it, it applies automatically. There's not really any cool uh, keyframing going on that would make anybody excited. The key here is that we've created this now in ClickFX Prime. And what we can do is we can switch over to Prime, set it to the same project, the test underscore one project, and we'll find in the bottom right hand side those same scenes that we've already created in ClickFX Prime. I can take that scene, right click and edit. And since we're working against that exact same PBX file, we're seeing the exact same elements. And we can start adding to this file. Um, we don't have to reload or sync up with back in ClickFX Prime any changes. This is automatically done because we're, uh, we're editing this PBX file that's underneath it. As you can tell, there's a, there are some actions that ClickFX already puts in, some default in and out actions, and uh, you can immediately start adding keyframes to those. And what happens is, is when you, uh, when you uh, take a graphic to program, when you move it to uh, the program section, It'll play the click effects underscore effect in action. And when you take it out of program, it'll play the click effects effect out action. So what we're doing here is we're quickly adding some keyframes to make the in and out effect uh, a little bit more appealing. Um, and so for demo purposes, we're just animating the logos and the text. We're going to hit save. And uh, we're going to close out of our editor. And immediately, those changes have now been applied either directly on the same server um, or via, via the network, they've been applied to the PBX file that sits underneath this button. So as you can tell, we hit, um, we, we hit play on that button and we're seeing this new action that we have designed in Prime and it's already part of the ClickFX Prime button.